Hey guys, so today we're working with Sawyer. Uh, we're starting his off-leash portion of his training program. Uh, so at this stage in training, he's already learned all of the obedience uh, commands. So now we're just transitioning uh, to doing this off-leash. So this is his first session on uh, what we call a light line. So you'll see tied to my body. Uh, it's about a 20-foot light line um, going from my body connected to his collar. So we've completely removed the leash, taken that out of the question. This allows us to simulate off-leash, um, but also provide him guidance as needed. So you'll see here we're starting doing some obedience. I'm using a lure. So this is how we've shown him the, the uh, obedience behaviors to begin with, to teach him. So now I'm just sort of giving him a little bit of a refresher. So now that the leash has been taken out, we've changed the equation. So I want to do something familiar. So I'm, I'm providing him with a lure. As I turn, I'm holding a uh, food reward in my hand, letting him follow it. So I'm just kind of showing him uh, the healing behavior, that kind of stuff, um, just kind of as a, as a kind of warm up before we try this without any luring or anything like that. All right, so now we're gonna practice our downstay. So up to this point, we've done this on leash, so just six foot away from him. So now I'm gonna be moving a little bit further than six foot. So if he were to deviate, I'm still in control here because I have this light line uh, versus if I were to just start you know, doing this off leash and he got distracted, decided to take off, obviously I'm no longer in control of that situation. Um, so when you're working off leash, it's important to remain in control. So that's why we use this light line here. So now I'm gonna go into uh, some more repetitions here. Now I'm not going to provide him with a lure. So you'll see uh, here I'm just turning. <clears throat> he turns with me. Now I provide him with his reward. So I'm now taking away the lure. I expect him to do these behaviors on his own um, because like I said, he has already learned these. So we've done several hundred repetitions of these obedience behaviors. And so you can see Sawyer's picking up on this. He's very, very food motivated. So he's picking up on this very, very well. I'm not having to use much leash guidance at all, which is good, um, but sometimes you will have to. That's fine. All right, so that's kind of the segue into off-leash work. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.